There was no detail too small for David Coldwell. Each crew member is to scale. Each piece of the ship handcrafted, brought to life from photographs and plans. Over 10 years, he built a model of the second USS San Jacinto, an American aircraft carrier that served in the Second World War. Its most famous crew member, former U.S. President George H.W. Bush. Getting information was very hard for him to find. So if he built a section which he got new information for, he'd go back and he would tear that section apart with the new information and rebuild it. He wanted it to be as accurate as possible. So Was he a bit of a perfectionist? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It had to be perfect. Now the work has become of interest to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. If approved, it would be used for an upcoming exhibit on the Second World War. Greg Coldwell says he wanted to do something to honor his dad's memory. I just happened to email the Smithsonian and it was serendipity that they just said, it just so happens we're looking for an American carrier. This aircraft carrier was really, really special to him. And he'd uh, look at it and grin and he just got so much pleasure from it. But this wasn't his only model. Every time you turn around in Joan Coldwell's home, you spot another one. Hundreds of small, intricate models made of clay and wire, each one crafted with patience and time by her late husband. There's lots of favorites. I love the birds. I think he did a fantastic job of the birds. And every year he'd make something for Christmas. The 12 days of Christmas, Santa Clauses, the night before Christmas, uh, the flowers are exquisite. I suppose the lady slippers are my favorite. David Coldwell spent his entire career at the Nova Scotia Museum, but even when he retired, he still kept making models. And his son even took after his father. He's also a model maker. He said to me one time that he was never going to die. He was just going to disappear into one of his models. So I like to think that he's somewhere on that aircraft carrier, probably sitting in the cockpit of one of the fighter planes getting ready to take off. That's what I like to think about him. Staff from the Smithsonian plan to visit Nova Scotia later this month to make a final decision about whether to include the model in the exhibit. But Joan Coldwell says parting with the aircraft carrier won't be easy. It was hard. But she and David's children know that saying goodbye to the model means that millions will get to appreciate his work. Emma Davey, CBC News, Gasparo.